Wonderful. So hopefully by now you know that my name is Marcus Santa and I'm Chief Instructor for the Shaolin One Am Institute here in the UK and we've been looking at perfect and I'm sure by now you know what all the letters stand for and the last one that we're going to look at today is time to end. It's very important when you finish your Qigong practice to finish properly because doing your Qigong practice takes you into an, an altered state, uh, a changed state of consciousness and it's pretty much you're going into the... Um, we, we live and we operate on the phenomenal realm everything that's here. But when you do your Qigong, when you do your Shaolin Cosmos Qigong, that takes you to the, the cosmic realm. And the cosmic realm is a beautiful place to, to go and visit. But if you try living in the cosmic realm whilst you're here in the phenomenal realm, people come and start stealing your furniture. So we need to make sure we come back properly because we need to be able to do our jobs, we need to be able to talk with our family and our friends, and we need to do things properly. I remember a clear example of, of this happening to me when I was living up in Nottingham and I went for a massage one day and it was a fantastic massage. It was incredible. I was so incredibly relaxed that they pretty much poured me off the couch at the end and then pushed me towards the door and I just felt fantastic. And I opened the door and stepped out into rush hour Nottingham traffic. The assault on my senses was such a shock and such a jolt that it probably did me a lot of harm. It did me more harm than good. So it's important that when you finish your practice when it's time to end, you finish properly, because then you can evolve, avoid having these jolts to the system. Okay, so in a second, I'll show you how to finish off properly. Thank you for watching. Okay, welcome back. So, here we are, we're looking at perfect, we've got all the way to the end, time to complete, and we know how important it is that we complete our Qigong practice properly. So, we'll imagine that I've just finished my cosmic balance, my standing meditation. And then it's time to finish off. So I rub my hands together briskly, making sure that my hands are nice and warm. And then I dab the palms of my hands gently against my eyes, warming and nourishing my eyes. And then with my fingers, I make small circles around my eye sockets, gradually making them larger and larger until I'm massaging the whole of my face and my head. So this is the facial massage and the next bit I'll do is optional, the point massage. You don't need to do this, but you can if you like. So using either your index finger or middle finger, just start with the point in the center of the eyes, just press gently, small circles, come up to the top of the eye, sweeping along the eyebrow and then the midpoint of the eye end of the eyebrows outside corners of the eyes and I'm doing this quickly lower middle part of the eye back to the center and then long sweeps down the side of the nose and then where the nostrils curve over just press in there, small circles again And then, using this soft, fleshy part at the base of your thumb, place that gently against your, your temples, and in the same direction as the facial massage, just small circles there. And then put your fingers where your jaw goes up into the back of your ear, there's a little pulse there. Just press in gently, and move. And then you finish off with banging the heavenly drum 24 times. Not 22 times, not 26 times, 24 times. So the point massage that I just did was the optional part. This is the part that you always finish off with. So if I turn around so you can see, you put your hands so you close your ears and then you either bang or flick the back of your neck 24 times like this. hands and to finish off you walk around again briskly for about 30 paces and then you've done that's the perfect approach to Shaolin Qigong and I hope this video has been of some use to you and I look forward to catching up with you again soon